you watch the product? Do you even have time to watch their product to see what I, the competition is doing? I watch a lot of wrestling. I watch a lot of wrestling from different places. Do you consider them competition? I said before, I can think all wrestling's competition. Do you, I, I don't know if you've heard me say this before. Uh, some people ask me why I'll talk about other wrestling companies, especially WWE. And I'll tell you, it was a literally a book handed to me over three years ago before the launch of Dynamite by Warner Media at the time before it was Warner Brothers Discovery. And it was telling me what our place already because Dynamite hadn't launched, but we had carved out a space in the pay-per-view business where it was clear we weren't a niche business because we had already outperformed every company other than WWE for 20 years. So we were already not just number two, but the biggest number two in the pay-per-view market in 20 years because the numbers we did for our first summer of pay-per-views were bigger than the numbers WCW was doing in their last 18 months of business. Wow. And um, and then since then, we've you know posted numbers that nobody's done since the 90s other than WWE, literally. So, um, you know, 1999, we were talking before we started very briefly, just yeah. as we jumped on about WCW. And I think, not, you know, it was... Uh, mid to late 99 was the last time they saw those kind of numbers and then never again. And so we carved out a space and they handed me a book and it was how to be a challenger brand. This is what you are. A challenger wow. brand, I learned then three years ago, a challenger brand is not the industry leader, but it is also not a niche brand, a niche brand, uh, mm -hmm. tomato, tomato, if you will. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it is not a uh, uh, that it is a big company. It is Pepsi. It is Burger King. Uh, it is maybe Arizona iced tea, right? It is a challenger brand. It's a big company, but you know, a lot, many people don't know that they're not the industry leader, but people like them and many people prefer them. And that's why they have a very big base. That's Pepsi. That's Burger King. That's maybe Arizona iced tea. Like I said, I think that's AEW is a challenger brand. So what look at Burger King marketing. What is Burger King marketing? I mean, basically a lot of it is, hey, McDonald's sucks, guys. Right. <laughs> so, uh, and I don't, especially now, like if there's been improvement, I am not like Burger King. <laughs> okay. Like I, uh, and I respect the hell out of both Burger King and McDonald's as, as businesses. I'm just using them as, sure, you know, textbook examples, literally for me, educationally textbook examples. And, uh, so for AEW, you know, it's just part of what we are. We're a challenger brand. There's no reason to pretend we're not. That's what you are. Embrace it. So it's literally a corporate philosophy handed down on high to me by my boss. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you have to explain that. Of course, uh, they have a head start and you guys have made... I think I think you've exceeded expectations in the last three years. That's why I wanted to know if you agreed with that statement. Dying to ask you, obviously, about Labor Day. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, by the way, just, you know, I do agree with it. I just wanted to give you because I get asked sometimes that and I thought it was a good way. Sure. To, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, because you you asked about do I consider them competition? Well, sure. I consider them in many ways the industry leader, but I consider us a strong challenger brand and people all the time knock us for our position. And it's like, you know, would you tell the CEO of Pepsi no, like, oh, a... you didn't sell as many bottles as Coke? Would you tell, you know, and it's it's it, we're a big company. It's it's hard. You can't really not acknowledge that. Now. 